Yeah, what's up guys? It's Kate, this is Date Fails. I am at All Things Comedy today in studio, of course. I had to come in studio today. Uh, it was very important because my guest is way too beautiful to not have on camera. I love when ah. you, you messaged me and said, is it on camera? I was like, <laughs> fuck yeah, it's on camera. <laughs> There's no way we're doing audio only. Um, so guys, I'm super stoked. I'm so grateful that you came, first of, of all. I feel like you must just be the busiest person. I feel like you must be flying to some like exotic place every day. Oh, I wish. And taking bikini photos. You should be. <laughs> Someone needs to make that happen. Just fly this girl around and uh, and just give you lots of gifts. I basically I feel like- I love that idea. <laughs> so do I. Um, guys, so she's an actress. She is a social, do you like to be called social media influencer or I, I prefer that over Instagram model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's good too because she's an influencer and uh, she's got a podcast now called Eyes Up Here. And also I want to give you mad props for mm -hmm. real because, you know, there's a lot of hot girls online. And the reason I followed you is because your Twitter is so funny <laughs> and like sassy and I, I love fucking Twitter. love that. Yeah, hey! you're, you're good on Twitter. You're Ooh, really yeah. good. So I guys, love Twitter. my guest is Lindsay Pellis. Woo! Did I say it right? Palace? Is that how you say it? Palos. God damn it. But I'll it. take it. I always said Palos. And Palos. Then I, and then I thought that sounds too much like Palos, the shoe store, and I didn't want to insult you. It kind you know? of sounds like that. <laughs> and I wish that that were my money and my business, but it's not. Wouldn't that be great if they were like your official shoe sponsor and you only wore Palos on every red carpet? You know, they could call me and we can set that up. That would be... <laughs> That's what I want. I want like Walmart or Kmart. Anything for that. Yeah, exactly. You're like, if they pay me enough, I will wear pay less. Oh, yeah. I'll take pay, pay less and pay less. Yeah. It's a collab. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. Pay less. Listen, we're making deals right now. Um, okay. I have so many questions. I have, first of all, your Twitter game is out of control. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I mean, all the people I tweet at, <laughs> you retweeted. I just said like, ask questions for Lindsay. Don't be a perv. Mm -hmm. And uh it, it already has like, I've got like 400 questions for yours. People Fine. are so interactive with you. I'm interactive with them. That's why. Something about Twitter, it's easy for me to pay attention to because it's just whatever happens in a row, one after the other. Instagram and Facebook, it's like a spaceship with all this like crazy blinking shit and like people right? out of nowhere and I don't know how to, I can't do it, but Twitter, I can read through, I can follow. It's a nice list. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you're right. Facebook at some point got really confusing, it's right? It's so stupid. Yeah. I don't know how they categorize stuff and I feel like I have to go through and give people like permission to yeah. do certain things and it's confusing. It's a lot me. like a dashboard of a spaceship to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone too far. <laughs> way too far. I've never been in a spaceship, but I think you're probably right. <laughs> I, uh, I would like that actually. Um, all right. Let's just start with this. First of all, okay. uh, I found you because you, this is actually how I found you. I didn't find you from like um, Playboy or Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't, I don't spend, I'm very kind of self-absorbed on social media. Love I don't it. spend a lot of time scrolling the feed as much as I just read my own notifications, which is kind of douchey sounding, but it's good. It's the truth. Uh, but you co-hosted a show with my friend Rampage. Oh yeah. What did you guys do together? Oh my God. I think that was two years ago. We did um, kind of a pilot for a potential web show. It was basically like we watch videos of people getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was called KTFO. Yeah, not like out. in fights. Yeah, or like... and we would watch like fighting videos and then kind of do like a critique about it. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I bet you funny. guys were funny together. Yeah, he I was... mean, I think he's hilarious. He's so... he's a great host too, dude. He's so funny. I always I used to tell him he should do stand up, and he's like, it's too scary. Uh, I'm like, you get punched in the face. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like he would uh, flirt with you just a whole. He's such a flirt. He, he's kind of a flirt, but but not in a bad way. No, I'm like not, an adorable. Like the perfect amount. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish he flirted more. He's, he's, he's the coolest. I know. He's a little shy. If you flirt with him, he gets real, like, really embarrassed. It yeah. was crazy. He had a ton of lines, and he really had he really had to kind of control the whole show. So he was really working hard, which and it was impressive. Wow. Shout out Rampage. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I'll tell you what he said later for me to ask oh, you, because I, I texted him this morning. He's in Hawaii, and I said, oh, I'm having Lindsay on the show give me a dating question to ask her so he's oh, like how long do I have to think and I was like an hour uh, <laughs> so, how long do you need I know I think he wanted I told him to come up with something funny so I'll tell you what he said later but okay. um anyway so I researched you you know what's interesting is I don't research guests too often but I actually wanted to like you know have some idea of where you came from and stuff but mm -hmm. surprisingly there's not a ton of information about you online oh, that's nice yeah, I mean, you have a Wikipedia, and it pretty much says you're from Louisiana. Yeah. And what, you're one of how many kids? 
I have five sisters and three brothers, but we're like, we're all mixed up. So there's halves and steps and, oh, okay. you know, extras, extra <laughs> supporting roles. Like there's just How many do you count? Be honest. Like, I really many- count it all together because I'm like, I don't like any one of you better than the other. Really? So I've got five sisters and three brothers. Yeah. Holy you shit. never know which one's going to be rich too. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 Right. You got to be nice to all of them just in exactly. case. Exactly. Wait, where do you fall in the eight? Um, I'm my mom's oldest child and my dad's second to youngest, which is, so I'm a, I kind of have the roles of a few different, you know, like yeah. in one house I was the older one and then one I was kind of a middle younger one. Interesting. Yeah. When did your, so your mom and dad, when did they get together? Okay. So they got together. Well, I was born in 91. Okay. So it was before that they were actually, um, they're both like from really poor Louisiana families. My dad from kind of the swamp people type of Louisiana family and my yeah. mom from the redneck type of Louisiana family. Oh, that's d- the swamp people and the redneck yes, people are two different v- genres? Very different. Very different <laughs> accents, very different housing structures. Like No way. Yeah, you got the mobile home and you got the house on the rocks. Like, okay. One eats duck, one eats like hamburger helper. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? I that's eat amazing. <laughs> you eat hamburger. So you I grew do. up, were you more of a hamburger helper or a duck type? Child. I'm in the middle. I like the Cajun food, and then I like the really naughty redneck food. Nice. Yeah. Like, like, would that be like craw crawdads? Is that the thing they do there? We call it crawfish. Crawfish. Yeah, there's crawfish jambalaya etouffee. Um, anything out of the water you can eat. <laughs> I love it there. Actually, I shot an episode of my. Uh, I had a Playboy TV show, and we shot an episode there. And oh. I think it was in the part. I think it was kind of near where Katrina hit. Mm-hmm. I remember. This is so random, but what I remember most is uh, I'd never seen roosters before. Really? And they're just walking around the street. Where were you? I was <laughs> I don't, somewhere outside New Orleans. Were you drunk on bourbon street? No, I don't think that was no. a rooster. I swear to God, there were <laughs> roosters. I have video of it. They were just walking down the street. Shit. I swear, I was chasing them. Wow. I've never seen one. Isn't that kind of ironic? A comedian like you saw a rooster crossing the road. Like it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Actually, you're right. I didn't even think of that. That is really funny. Yeah, I was kind of freaked out, but and it was also kind of cool. But uh, I guess we went there for. Um, the episode was about vampire fetish. Oh, apparently, that's fine. yeah. There's like a group of people in New Orleans who are really into like vampire play, like dressing up as vampires and hooking up and like biting each other and all that kind of stuff. Are you into that kind of thing? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. You're like, I don't think I've ever dabbled. No one's ever bitten you and drawn blood and you like. Occasionally, it. I want to draw blood on other people. Oh, really? But I don't get off on it. Yeah, no. You're like, because I'm just pissed off. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You just want to, yeah, knife them, maybe. Yeah bite them all right so back to your childhood so okay so you were kind of in the middle then after Mm -hmm. so when did your parents get together oh my gosh so they were from these poor families and I guess they both had the idea to be paramedics or like work in you know paramedic EMTs that's where it started as so because it's a job you could get like through vocational training and it paid decent yeah because they're from like I mean poor families super poor. poor so they met um both being paramedics in the town called Rustin, which is where Bonnie and Clyde got shot down. Ooh. Which is a fun fact. Yeah, that's fun my fact. favorite fact. But and that's where I ended up being born. Um and they were young and then they ended up getting married and divorced like six years later. Yeah. So they got married, then divorced, and then your mom did you live with your mom after that or how old were you? Yes, I lived with my mom and then um she ended up marrying two different stepdads. So I got all those experiences and new kids and then my dad um, lived in New Orleans, so I'd visit him over the weekends. And I actually lived in a really country town in Louisiana. That's for, cool. Yeah. Huh. So you, so you, all these step siblings are from different. Kind are from of. different. So you were never all in one house. Well, she created like five after me. So there was like I had a full, full whatever brother, and then I had all the halves with the extra stepdads, and you know she had six kids total. My mom. So it was. Wow. There were a lot in my house. That's a lot, man. Yeah, it's obnoxious. So that's like, I mean, that's when you go home for like Christmases and stuff, it must just be absolute chaos. You know what it is? It's actually like I have to rent a car because there's so many. I'm a, I call myself like a mutt of Louisiana. I'm from all over. Yeah. Where I went to college was LSU and Baton Rouge. I grew up in that farm town. So that's my hometown. My mother's hometown is North Louisiana. My dad is from the swamps and then he lives in New Orleans now. So I'm kind of, I rent a car. And if I want to see everyone I love, I just have to like book it. Yeah, that's I'm kind of the same way because my family, I'm kind of I'm a middle child. Mm-hmm. So I have to like 
I, everyone has to like me. I think that's why I'm a comedian. Yeah. You know, I have to like keep it all together, yeah. but everybody else doesn't like each other. So I have to travel <laughs> around and see yeah. everyone, you know, and try to like make every, like I'm basically the, the glue. I call myself the glue. That's you know? nice of you. It's a hard position to deal with. It is weird, right? Yeah. But there's something about me I have to. It's yeah. selfish, really, because it's for me. Like, really? I, yeah, because if I feel like anyone is mad at me, I can't function or sleep at night, you know? Really? So that's, that's why sweet. I never sleep, because someone's always mad. Aww. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you, I mean, look, you have 7 million Instagram followers is, I didn't realize how many, honestly, that you had until I looked last night. Like I knew you had a lot, mm. but I was like, holy shit. I get occasionally, I make a joke all the time, but it's really true that <laughs> trolls never bother me except for when I'm PMSing. Oh my God. For some reason. And I can actually clock my period by when the trolls bug me. Like if I notice I'm getting annoyed. Oh yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. So, but for me, it's like, I only have like 200,000. I mean, you must, how do you deal with trolls? It's funny. You say that. I say the same thing. If someone asks me, it'll only bother me if I'm already bothered. Like nothing right. will bother me unless I'm already bothered. Then exactly. it's overkill. My day's overkill. I'm like, fuck you people. But most days I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm the same. It is funny though. Like like yesterday I was annoyed at a guy. And because of that, I think I was taking out my annoyance at him on every troll. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I would notice. I was like, I'm kind of being a little too much of a dick to these people. But I think it's never. Like, I can't be mad to that guy. But yeah, so how do you deal? I Because... I noticed uh, you're kind of like me in a sense that sometimes you will retweet them with a funny comment, like yes. a funnier comment. And I also feel like you're so smart how you engage mm -hmm. with your audience because they engage back, which is the difference between you and just some model that posts photos and doesn't do that. Yeah. That people seem to genuinely care about it's your so personality. Nice yeah, it really is. So, I mean, do you ever, is there anything that's ever happened with a with a person who follows you that just like really got to you? You know what? The only one that I'll really, <clears throat> I'm like dying over here. You're fine. I should have brought you water. When we talk about trolls, I get sick. No, <laughs> no. The only thing I really interact with is if I'm online and I notice a child like a, like a child in school or a teacher or someone in a faculty of a school or maybe a parent, but I don't know, something about children and people that need to learn quick. Yeah. I have sent, um, I've, it takes me five minutes to figure out where you went to school, everything. I'm a psychopath <laughs> and I'm not stupid and I'll figure it all out and I'll figure it all out, especially if I'm bored and I have the time. So I've sent emails to principals, uh, parents, teachers, whatever. Shut up. Um, the, the I've sent sc like screenshots of teachers to administrative, like, principles being like this is what this is the example this lady's leaving online no way like give yeah. me an example like of something someone would <clears throat> say that you would send to like a principal oh this lady made fun of my face for some reason like she was picking on me said something about like i had all this work done a whore like the the typical Ugh. shit yeah but like maybe you shouldn't have put that because i clicked on her page and it's like i teach at blah 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 elementary and i'm like okay oh. game on <laughs> I and love I go, you. Yeah, I go to the full website, find all the, the .edu's. I mean, I really go there. Oh, my God. You're That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you are you this much of a psycho with guys you date? Please say yes. Only if, uh, like, for fun. Never for, I will never do it out of passion, but pure entertainment. Like, you might be kind of like me, which <laughs> is if they drive me, if they really piss me off, uh -huh. like, they are a complete piece of shit, like, I catch them in huge lies yes. or something. Then it's like I take personal joy in teaching them a lesson. Yes. Yeah. I did this recently. Really? Yes. Tell like me. This week, actually. Oh, my God. I have a recent ex. Found out he like was out with this girl at a club, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you better you acknowledge this or you or you take the red pill. And the red pill is I find out everything. Oh, my God. And you're going to piss me off and making me find it out. Yeah. He took the red pill. Oh. I found the girl he left with, where they went. I got an Uber receipt out of it. Um, also, I'm, I found out you can make fake text messages. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? I no. do a whole bit about it. I, oh, really? There's an app called Burner. Yes. You can text from like 45 phone numbers on one phone. It's so cool. Oh, my God. Tell me everything. Well, the I'm girl, so excited. Well, like the girl, I wanted to be like, I was like, hey, you know, instead of being like, did you leave with this guy? Yeah. I created a message that basically he's insulting her and he's like, I don't care about this ugly, you know, I use the B word. I don't care about this ugly girl. Like you're my wife, you know, just like stuff that would piss someone off if they yeah. thought that they had a chance with the guy. Yeah. 
And I'm like, this is what he said, honey. Like, what is the truth? I just want to know the truth. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that's diabolical. That's like I next know. level. I love it. What it happened? What did she do? Honestly, I think they texted back and forth and told, you know. She, she figured out. Oh, yeah. You... But I got it down to like the Uber seats and the route home. I think I know where she lives now. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> but you are you mad? You've got to be more mad at him. <clears throat> Does she know about you? Oh, like, of course. Oh, she did. No, I don't know. I assume everyone knows about me. That's so. <laughs> but did she know? Were <laughs> no, you guys kidding. publicly a couple, you and the guy? No, I don't know. And I would never be mad at the girl. Like, I'm really not that type. But it was more for I'm going to show him that I'm going to find everything out at every time. These guys are so fucking stupid yeah. that they don't understand that we find out it you can't yeah. hide shit now with technology no. it's impossible there is someone videoing you at a nightclub like every minute well you especially i mean someone is gonna it's it's crazy how uh social media people are honestly more famous to me nowadays than even like movie stars mm -hmm. in fact i know are you still i know you dated or at one point dated dan bilzerian uh -huh. correct? are you guys cool yeah we're cool okay so right now well, <laughs> you never know. I just didn't want to bring him up if it no, was a sore topic. Cool. But like, I was at the Maxim Halloween party a couple of years ago. You were probably there, and uh, I was with a girlfriend who was friends with Dan. So we ended up in his whatever booth area, and it was fascinating to me because Vin Diesel was also there with a girlfriend of mine. And so at one point, I took a hot lap around the party with Vin, and mm -hmm. at one point, I took one with Dan. Vin didn't get stopped. Nobody stopped him. Really? Nobody really recognized him. No. But Dan got stopped, you know, 100,000 times. Wait, was Ben in costume, though? No, he oh. was not. He was in regular, you know, clothes. In fact, I think he might even had on, like, a wife beater, or something very Vin diesel -ish. That's weird. Yeah, but, I mean, is, is it? Because I feel like Vin Diesel, you might go, that kind of looks like Vin Diesel, but yeah. you wouldn't be sure. Probably. He's also a little smaller than I expected mm -hmm. and stuff. But I feel like, Dan, it's just, it's weird now how social media influencers or whatever you want to call them mm -hmm. are really more known because younger people, I think, are watching Instagram way more than they're watching movies. Totally. You know, I look at my Instagram probably every hour, all day. I think next year they said it's going to be more people online than watching TV. So oh, TV 100%. is going to be the back seat. Yeah, I think TV's on the way out. That's Damn. why you're so smart that you started a podcast. Oh, I know. You don't understand. Like, that's the way, to, that is the way to make money in the future is like, you don't need a network. Five years from now, all you need is your podcast and your Instagram. <laughs> You'll be fucking. I hope so. You will. And I'm like, you know, if I, if I fall on my face and, and I'm not cute anymore, <laughs> maybe I should be funny on a podcast. You'll always be cute. You know what I mean? I like, so. And you have a great personality. Thanks. You're warm. You're cool. I mean. That's what's funny is I'll bet a lot of people probably assume you're going to be either a snot or a bitch or something just because you're so pretty. Huge. Yeah. And I don't think I'm that cute. I'm just, no, the, I wrote that in an interview yesterday. Someone's like, what's the biggest misconception? I'm like, I'm not mean. People are shocked that I'm nice and I'm not fake nice. I'm genuinely nice. I'm not the girl that would make fun of a stranger. Yeah. If anything, I'm, I see a, you know, you would think I'd make fun of someone and I'm going, wow, she has great hair or like, wow, I really, like I really, that's what I see in people. Like I don't, I'm not mean. It's probably because where you grew up, Maybe. I'm similar. I don't like to be mean. Yeah. I can't even, if I want to, like even when I'm on stage, if I'm, like there's a clip of me on YouTube where, I mean on uh, Twitter where I dealt with a heckler who I could have been a huge bitch to. And then oh, no. at the end, I even had to be like, but thanks for speaking up. Like I can't Aww. be mean. <laughs> but I mean, that's, a, that's part of the reason why I think you have the fan base that you do. Because if that's you were hot and you were a bitch, people would be like, fuck her you know but because you're sweet then people like that comes through it really does that's good i hope so yeah it does um okay so this dude that you were just dating mm -hmm. uh you guys were like together we were together how yeah. long um close to a year or so it's i was private i didn't share it with anyone yeah and yeah. then you and then you found out he was at a club with another no. <laughs> fuck that guy what did, stab I don't, him. why did we we broke up actually just from like general not working together just like stress he was oh, kind okay. of stressed out Oh, he was? Yeah, a bit insecure. It's interesting because you tweeted the other day, I'm excited to be single for summer. Mm -hmm. And I actually thought to myself, I wonder if she broke up with someone recently because that totally. seems like something I would tweet yeah. as like a um, fuck you, dude. I hope you see this. Exactly. <laughs> 
And I, I don't want to post those sappy memes where I'm sad because I'm not. Like, I'm not going to post one of those. You know those. Oh, of course. Those, like, hidden message memes that are <sighs> so embarrassing. It's so bad. I hate those. And the thing is, with this podcast, it's all about dating and sex for me. So I talk about my love life so publicly on mm-hmm. here. I don't name names. Um, yeah. I never name names. I did go through something recently with a guy similar to what... I, I mean, I found out a guy that I was dating had a chick that I didn't know about. Oh. And... Uh, but that girl actually, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. That girl and I started messaging and I shared all that on here. And then that's how I found out about him or about her. And then I went to him and he was a complete piece of shit, whatever. And my listeners kind of figured out who it was. <gasps> no. Yeah, which is fine. I don't care. He deserved it. Fuck that guy. But <laughs> what's crazy is that I haven't said is like a week ago, a girl DM'd me and said, uh, Hey, I just listened to your podcast. Were you talking about so and so? I was also dating him the same time. No. And she thought she was the only one too. No. Yeah, but it kind of made me happy. Not for her. I felt terrible for her. I was like, oh my God, I, this poor girl. Yeah. But at the same time, she dumped him because she heard my podcast. So I kind of felt like I got That's like awesome. this crazy revenge. Exactly. I know. Not as good as emailing principals, though, which is what I'm going to start doing. <laughs> That's even, That's it's even satisfying. better. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your podcast, Eyes Up Here. What's that about? Oh my gosh. At first, I had no idea what it was about. I'm like, I'm going to make a podcast. I, di- I was on like Burt Crusher's before. Who I love. Yeah. And he loved boss. you. He raved about you. Thanks. No, I wait. heard him raving about you in private rooms where like he didn't uh, need to. Do you yeah, know Yeah. I mean? He encouraged me. He's like, you should really do one of these on your own. And I got that a lot. And then Twitter, yeah. I have a a special you know half a million people on twitter is a lot yeah and they like me so i'm like okay i'll make a podcast for you guys but i didn't know what to make it about yeah everyone told me to make a theme and i'm like i'm not a theme type of person i don't think you need a theme because you're already a public figure right yeah you need a theme more when i think you're kind of like no one knows who you are but they're like oh dating exactly yeah well i everyone knows who you are well now some people no everyone you're popular well thank you but um Eventually, though, as I did the podcast, we named it Eyes Up Here. A Twitter follower thought that was funny. And I like, love it. I happen to have a picture where I'm painting myself. But don't even ask why. And I'm like, like your body? Yeah, I'm literally painting my body and I'm making like this sa- like stressed <laughs> face when it got to my face. I'm like, okay, Eyes Up Here and this graphic, it all makes sense. It kind of came to me. But over time, as I've interviewed guests, I've kind of really honed in on what I want it to be about. And I think I want, it, I want to talk about, you know, breaking social stereotypes. Because essentially, that's what I'm asking you to do with me when yeah. you listen to me and get to know me on a different level. Same. And I think there are so many people, every single person faces something. Like everyone is being judged for wh- what they do, what they wear, who they are. Yeah. You know, and there's there's a lot, there's a lot deeper answers in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's really cool because you're right. I mean, I definitely know like people always when they meet me are like, oh, I thought you were going to be X, Y, Z. And mm-hmm. and it is, it is nice to break that. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can be, I hate when people try to box people in. Yeah. Like you can't be sexy and funny. You yeah. can't be whatever it is. It's like, you can be whatever the fuck you want. It's super cares? lazy too. It's like, have you not realized by now that like some really hot chicks are really smart? Yeah. Like, you didn't right? realize that yet but you know what let, <laughs> let them think you're dumb yeah because the then if they think you're dumb then it's like i feel like it's when i hear people talk about like how stupid the car look i'm not a huge fan of the show mm-hmm. i don't watch keeping up with the kardashians that much although i do think chloe is actually like really funny but yeah. but i will never call any of those girls stupid paris hilton none of them are stupid no. nobody who's stupid gets to that level i don't care how good your team is around you you can't be a moron and and a mogul no you can't do it there's no way so i mean part of their brilliance is letting people think they're stupid and laugh all the way to the bank do you know what i mean um i'm looking at my phone because i'm pulling up some of the questions because so many people send in questions so first of all i have one i'll read you rampages oh my god okay this is great i love that he sent this rampage said um ask her when she's dating a guy how long does it normally take to find out if he's a fuck boy or the real deal? <laughs> Ooh. I know he sent that because he uh, he thinks it's like ridiculous how much I do the fuck boy patrol shit. <laughs> so, hmm. but that's a great question, Rampage. So what do you think? A fuck boy has given themselves away immediately. <laughs> do you think, how do you know? Uh, well, number one, they do this thing. It's called negging and I can't stand it. Ugh. Negging is like my biggest pet peeve because it insults my intelligence. Yeah. 
along with insulting me like yeah it's, so basically that's where someone gives you for anyone who doesn't know it's a backhanded compliment to set up the conversation for you to win over their favor so it'll be like you're really hot for a blonde or you're really smart for someone who grew up in louisiana yeah that's a hundred percent an insult but you know it's a backhanded compliment yeah and a lot of girls fall for it my I best do. friends I still fall do. for it even when i know i do even I, when i know they're nagging me i still fall no. for it it's the worst my Thank best you. fucking friends fall for it and i'll tell them i'm like hey red flag don't you do it <laughs> one of them i watched go down in flames and she, she dealt with a guy for like eight months he never committed it was just textbook and i saw Ugh. it you got to recognize the signs yeah it's really hard but are you good at that because i'm really good at seeing red flags and ignoring them i mean to the point where i actually give out red flags to women at my <laughs> shows i go carry these around if you see a girl talking to like a fuck boy oh toss a flag out yeah oh but i God. still ignore them really i can't help it because when i like someone i will make every excuse i can't help yeah. it are you good at walking away when you see it hell yeah really everyone i've dated in the last five years i have denied first and i've denied them a few times no i'm not i don't want to go to dinner with you no i don't think that's a good idea i don't like you very much it's t like you have to win me over that's good and a lot of the guys who i've end up there i dated people who don't seem dateable they're people who don't really commit they are mean fuckboy types but i swear to god men want someone who's going to tell them no that is actually so funny you said that because I, I mean, there's a guy that I've been ignoring today and he's probably sent me 14 text messages. Like Yay. when you don't, when you, well, he's not, I don't want him, but that's oh. why I'm ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> but if I Damn can it. treat the ones I want the way I treat the ones I don't want, mm -hmm. you're right. It is, it is annoying, but it annoys me because at some point I always start out that way. Yeah. I'm really good at the beginning. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm not that into you. No, I'm, I don't want to go out with you. But then... The minute that I like finally cave and let them see that I actually like them, whenever that is, they always start being fuckboy shit. And then I feel like, do you have to keep that up forever? Oh my God. Well, I think the other major, 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 major ticket is you cannot have sex with them until they are your boyfriend. You're right. And it, that's my and problem. E that's everyone's problem. Everyone. You're not in your 30s yet. That's what it is. You're going to see when you're in your 30s, you're going to be like so in heat that you're really? like, I'm going to wait, but you can't. Shit. <laughs> true no it's so hard i try it is man. hard and i you, try and i patty stanger the millionaire matchmaker she yes. says that men will ask for it knowing that they shouldn't get it and when i heard her say that i, I really i'm like oh that makes sense okay so, so they're gonna ask that? for it it's gonna feel like you should and still don't like so you do that yeah i won't sleep with you if we're not dating you got to be together. We have to be together. Wow. Yeah. Well, what if they're like, okay, we're together, and then they fuck you, and then the next week they're like, okay, bye. You know bye. what? <laughs> then, then you're dealing with a monster, and you shouldn't feel bad about that. I had one guy that happened to me once, something similar, and I think I'm like, you're a fuck, you're a loser. Like I don't, I don't feel like I missed something. I feel like that's conniving, that's deceitful. I was very clear. So God, I'm know, so proud of you. you. Thanks. I, you're really, amazing. It's like the hardest thing to do, but I'm telling you, like if my girlfriend, I like I beg my best friends to do this because my best friends, I see them get, they do the same shit. They'll, they'll try everything, but hold out on sex. And I'm like, you'll try all of this stuff, but you just won't make I them wait. I hold out. And then I think like six or seven dates is like so, such a long time. Yeah. And then I start to see, I'm getting better, mm -hmm. but for me, I don't know how it is for you. Are you like, honestly, are you like a really sexual person? Like, are you super into sex? With the right people? Yeah. Like, yeah, I can be really passionate. Yeah. But. But you, yeah. you're not like, you know, like if you're not, if you're not having sex, you're not like stressing, like I really need to have sex. No. And I think, I mean, I watch porn. Yeah. I Super fine. I used to watch more. Porn. I know too many. I know too many of the oh, guys. Weird. <laughs> it throws me out of it. Like, like I was dating a porn guy. No. Yeah, cool. it was the best sex of my life. That's fun. Oh, it was amazing. But I mean, he ended up being kind of not. A, I should have used him for sex if I was gonna use a guy for sex. I, he should have been the sex guy. Yeah. And I tried to date the sex guy. You can't date the sex guy, you oh, know. Man. But so I fucked it up because <laughs> I should have kept him as like a when I'm single and I really need to get laid. Yeah. Hit up porn guy. Instead, I tried to like romance him. <laughs> so oh my God. I fucked it up. But sometimes I'll be watching porn and he'll come in. It, that That's takes weird. me out of it. That's got to be weird. Yeah, it's the worst. I can't. So now I'm like <laughs> afraid. Like if I hear his voice or see his tattoo or anything, I'm like, God damn it. I can't. What a boner killer. Yeah, it really is. One time I was like almost there and then I realized it was him and I was like, fuck, because it was like a POV. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The point is, this is about you. Um, <laughs> so. Before this, uh, before this last guy that you were dating for like a year, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, do you go boyfriend to boyfriend or do you tend to date a lot between boyfriends? It seems like I go boyfriend to boyfriend. I yeah. like I like to be single. Like I, I don't know. I don't mind it. But it seems if we calculated the last year, I've had like year long boyfriends each time. The last guy I dated was public. He's from the UK and that was a whole thing. Ah. Uh. So I don't know. I guess like I am kind of a boyfriend type. Well, that's probably because, I mean, you're making, I get it. When I really like a guy, I don't really like look, I don't want to date multiple people. If I'm yeah. into one, I'm not trying to be out. Oh, I don't have time. You don't have time yeah. either. You're busy. Yeah. Right? I'm crazy too. Yeah. Like if I'm stressing out about chasing a boy or like obsessed with boy, like I like for that area to be like secure because that will drive me fucking nuts. And I'm nuts. Like I am nuts. And I you love know? that you have to be. I uh, yeah. Look at you. I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> the hot crazy scale is a real thing. Yeah. So you have to be crazy. <laughs> you know, but you're crazy with a heart of gold, which is fine. I'm a yeah. complete psycho. I think. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't want to. I don't want to pin myself as crazy because I'm a dream partner. Like very chill. Very. I will give you what you get. I'm very honest. Like, you know, I'm really chill. Oh, you're good unless they cross you, probably. No, I just think, like, the part where, like, you're single and you have to deal with the bullshit. Like, the breakup part, maybe that that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, of. yeah. I feel like that, too. Yeah. I feel like I'm super loyal and chill and fun and, like, low mm-hmm. maintenance and all that stuff. Yeah. But if you push me to crazy town, yeah, then I will go, like, 360. Maybe we should change the word. Maybe it's not crazy, but I'm, I'm quite focused. So if you make <laughs> me a single woman, I'm going to be very focused. Yeah on shit that doesn't matter aka boys guys <laughs> like, you no know, I that's know. actually yeah yeah that's so it's 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 so <laughs> calming because i'm the same like i even said it to the last guy i was dating the one that kind of i found out had a girl and stuff like i said i i go it's not that i it's not that i need a quote boyfriend it's just that when it's in this weird limbo because he would always say like what why does it need a label why does it need which is a total <laughs> fuck boy line by I the know. way why does it need a label but for me i would be like well it's not even about like I want a boyfriend. It's about I want that chaotic part of my life to be psh, locked totally. down so I can focus on work. So it's almost like checking off a list, right? Yeah. You're like, got that done. Check. I got a guy to date, cuddle, fuck. Now I can go do X, Y, Z over of here. Of course. Yeah. So I get that actually. Yeah. So I focus too much. So that's interesting though, because that means every once in a while there is one that gets under your skin probably. Like, have there been any? That you feel like you're chasing a little bit at any point where it turns? Oh, my God. Always. Well, you know what? So the year before, like two years ago, I was dating this guy in the UK. The relationship was like fizzling and he had been photographed with like other chicks. He lied to me about the truth. Yeah. He's also in the UK and he's also like a notorious bad boy. He's like famous for being a bad boy. Oh, great. So my level of like (laughs) what I expected from him wasn't really high. Yeah, sure. So I'm not like heartbroken about this guy, but I'm also like, you know what? I'm tired of being like faithful. And so I had a side boyfriend. No way. In America. Yes. Oh, I've never done that. It was the most fun. I okay, bet. this is where things get fishy, okay? Because okay. I had a side boyfriend. Side boyfriend was in love. I had a boyfriend. Um, it was just, I don't know, this is hard to even like explain. But basically, when I decided that I loved the side boy back, the side boy was so done with being the side boy that he was hurt and like didn't want me. And I was just like, but what? Like I had, oh. I just, I ended this boyfriend for you. You fell for the side boy. I fell for the side boy. Cause, and honestly, that's when the sex is fun. Oh yeah. When it's, just, when it's like not allowed. The sex is the best when it's not allowed or when you know, I think that's my issue is like, like I had the hottest sex the other night, which I haven't in a long time. Oh I God. really don't. Congrats. Thank you. I was really, thank you. You know, <laughs> oddly, like people think because I do this podcast and I'm open about sex. So people think I fuck all the time, but mm-hmm. I'm really selective. Yeah. Super picky. But man, I had the hottest sex. I mean, like maybe oof, like top three ever. Oh my God. That's awesome. I hope he doesn't watch this. I don't want it to go to his head, but because I kind of told him it was just okay, you know, because I yeah. want to bring him down a notch. But, all right. <laughs> but, uh, but then what's crazy is like, I think part of the reason it was so good is because I know we can't date. There's a reason we can't date. He's not married or anything. I don't do that shit. There's okay. just, there's a reason that we both know we shouldn't date. So you have a, a mutual friend? Cause that's not, <sighs> it's not a mutual friend. Okay, Cause it's that just, is so it's shady. Just, it's just that I, we work too closely in the same field. So. Oh, that's actually hot. Yeah. A workplace romance is hot, especially if it's your boss. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's the boss in, in bed. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but anyway, I think that is part of what makes it hotter, you mm-hmm. know, is when you can't have it for sure. Always. Yeah. So side guy, you lost side guy. 
side guy. Yeah. Do, do you still miss him? him? No. You I did for a long time. I was really hurt. Like, are you kidding me? You're not. You don't want to be with me. Well, that's so <laughs> weird because you left the guy to be with him, and then he just decided. I'd I'd hurt him too much, and it had become too much. That's which is fine. Are you guys yeah. friends at all? We actually have very our mutual friends are our best friends. So we we don't really speak, but we we see each other out a lot. Oh. But I had a, a boyfriend this whole time after yeah. the side guy. So it's like we've never had an opportunity to speak. Yeah. Now you said that your last boyfriend wasn't public, but you mm. are really I mean, you well what's funny is like I probably if I saw you out now I would obviously recognize you cuz I've met you in person. Before uh I would have probably been like she's stunning why can't i place like i would have been like i recognize her but why but i'm sure that like you're like fan fans that are like obsessed fans uh-huh. must definitely recognize you paparazzi tmz they yeah. must so how do you keep anybody private you just don't post them that's I mean, it that's a major key yeah so you when don't you go post out them. for dinner and honestly and i got taking pictures of way less when i was with a guy because I think people, yeah. it, when I'm alone, hell yeah. And even just being broken up now, spending a few months by myself or weeks, it's like I get way more attention. Because people don't really want to come up and approach dudes. Like they're, they're much more scared to like approach a dude. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah, and they also don't want, they want to live in denial about you having a boyfriend. Like you're, yeah. at least your fan base. At least for so me. So do I sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? So are you really excited about being single for summer? You said that you're excited. Oh my God, that's such a lie. No, I am excited. I'm excited to just to have to not deal with anyone. I mean, it could be a good time to be single. Yeah, this is summer the best time, time is a beautiful time to be single. And you're so young. Yeah. You know, do you want kids? Oh, maybe in like 10, 15 years. Yeah, you don't want kids right now. Yeah, I want to wait till those in vitro days. <laughs> <laughs> very Hollywood freeze your eggs now just yeah. get some out freeze them and have them when you're like 50 yeah that's what I would do or just adopt them be like Angela. I would love to do that wouldn't that be great I'm, I'm so down I am too I think and also I think mixed babies are cuter so I just want mixed kids you I know mean, they're pretty damn cute yeah I think they're the best they and then I casted can put a, more too exactly see <laughs> we're on the same page I'm like if I'm doing it those kids are working I'm yes, in commercials. Course. they're paying my bills <laughs> fuck um, all right, here we go. I'm just going to ask you a bunch. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Uh, oh, here's one. How did you lose your virginity? Oh, my God. Um, I was 14, had a boyfriend. Wow. Oh, and you know what's so cheesy? It, it was my, he was 17, though. So oh, I wasn't, ooh. like, having sex with a 14-year-old because that would be sick. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's sick. <laughs> I like that somehow that's gross to you. You're it's like, so God gross. forbid I fuck a 14-year-old. No, he was, 17. like, a cool junior. Ooh. Yes. Was he, like, an athlete? Did he play football? Yeah. I knew it. He had a cool it. car. Ooh, oh, nice. What kind of car did he drive? I don't know. Do you remember? But it was cool. He uh, had, like, a Saturn <laughs> with rims on it. A Saturn? And then an Eclipse. Do you remember an Eclipse? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's a Mitsubishi. He thought it was cool. <laughs> Eclipse is, dude, I get it, man. I remember <laughs> one of my first boyfriends had like uh, uh what the fuck was his car it was like a 70 something mustang and i just thought he that's was the cool. coolest guy in the world that's actually cool yeah and eclipse is probably and eclipse cool. was cool back then too yeah, no i like i'd still drive an eclipse if anyone wants to send me one yeah. i'll take that uh okay so what happened well it was um two days before christmas so christmas eve eve and like we were like he of course wanted to smash the whole time and he like got me a really cute necklace and i'm really like a novelty like memory maker kind of girl so i'm yeah. like it's Christmas Eve Eve, and he got me this necklace. I'm like, I think we should have sex now. Because uh, like, I'll remember this necklace, and I'll like keep it forever. Where and were I'm, you? How cheesy is where that? Where were you? In his house, like in his room. Oh, in his room? Or yeah. his parents' home? He had those cool parents that like never knocked on the door. Because they knew what was up. Well, his dad saw you and was like, get it, son. Like, Probably. there's no way his dad was stuff. Did you already have boobs at a young age? Did you develop early? Yeah. You did? I guess so. I think like eighth grade is when people started spazzing out. Eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. People probably, did you get the whole like everyone thinks you're a slut thing because you had big boobs or did that not happen? That happened later. Really? I, I grew up in a farm town. So like our, our school is pretty intimate, like a hundred kids each class. Oh, so yeah. everyone knew each other. Like you knew exactly what I did or didn't do forever. Yeah, for yeah, sure. There's none yeah. of that like. There's no secrets in mm-mm. a school that small. Yeah, mine was pretty small too interesting so was it the first time i mean it couldn't have been couldn't have lasted long couldn't have been anything. i don't think so it's one of those things you just don't remember yeah like it like wasn't amazing no how long he after probably that? had like a stereo on for sure he had on his boom box yeah his, like well you're yeah, actually you're a lot younger than me so it would have been like what cd back then it was one of those big ones too like really when, when stereos were cool when walmart had a big section of like stereos yeah i wish they still did 
I want one. I want like an old school boombox. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be just lit. to like take to the beach, like <laughs> like like seriously, but act serious about it. Like I would I love see, that. Yeah, me too. I see those guys in Venice riding bicycles with a boombox on. Have you ever seen yes. them at Venice Beach? These guys ride bikes and they have boomboxes on the handlebars. I think they play like cassette tapes even. So it's pretty tight. That's what I want in my next boyfriend. That's uh, that's really <laughs> it. You get the. Here's a question. This is actually my question for you. Uh, can you date an I don't know how to say this. Can you date a normal guy or do you find now with what you do that you need to date somebody who's like in the industry or or known? Yeah. I don't want to say famous, but I mean. Interesting. This came up in my last relationship. The guy, he actually isn't very normal and he's a really popular kind of social guy in LA. So he's known, he has a nightclub and he's kind of, he's a sceny guy, but he was not in the industry whatsoever. Gotcha. And that was a problem. And it was a problem before we dated and I was very honest and I just, I'm like, you know, I don't mean to say this rudely, but this doesn't benefit me much because <laughs> like you're, it's really, it's not, I don't know if you really, fame is a really fickle, stupid thing, but if you want to grow, it's not easy to be with someone who isn't in the spotlight. And if that's, and I'm sorry to say this, but if that's your biggest dream in the world is to be in the spotlight you really seek a partner who wants the same thing that's so interesting yeah it's just like finding a partner with other similar interests like that is a major interest of mine so i would be completely lying if i said that it didn't i would matter. admire that you answered that so honestly it's true because i always say that still i still dated him yeah 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 and you dated him for a year so you obviously liked him well it sounds like <laughs> around town people kind of knew him but he's yeah. not in the yeah that's interesting see i never thought of it that way although that does make sense and obviously lots of I mean, I found out the last guy I was dating was basically dating me because he thought that it would be a good look if it, if I got more famous. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's more famous than me, but I'm more relevant. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, but I, for me, it's, it's become a little difficult. Like I went out on a date a couple of weeks ago with a regular, I hate to say regular guy, but I mean, a guy that, you know, has a job that's not, <laughs> not in entertainment and it was weird because I never get recognized really, maybe once a week, it's not that often, but that night I happened to three times mm -hmm. and it got progressively weirder throughout the night because you could just tell he wasn't used to that Ooh. and it was making him a little uncomfortable and that's, and then he kind of, he didn't have me on Instagram and then he kind of went to my Instagram and then it got even weirder because he sort of realized what he was, he didn't really realize that yeah. he was out with someone like that. Yeah. So then it got even weirder and I was like, that's why, I mean, for me, at least, it's just having that in common is kind of nice. It is. But it doesn't have to be a famous person. It could be an agent for me or a manager or someone that, or a writer or someone right, who's someone in the industry that gets it. Yeah, I would love that too. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, honestly, if you are just a great person, great at anything, I'm going to be down. And even the last guy, I'm like, if, you know, your partnership is could be invaluable to me too, and I can still do this all myself. Yeah, But I sure. do see, like, in my future... Well, yeah. it's going to happen just because also, I mean, look, the reality is I, I'm really open-minded. I've dated a homeless guy. Like I've dated like all <laughs> kinds of types Fine. and I'm open because for me, at least I swing back and forth from like, I'll date a guy who's kind of an asshole mm -hmm. and then I'll go, I want a nice one. So I'll take the next nice guy that comes no matter what uh -huh. their deal is. But that's not a good plan probably, but that's what I do. Well, life, you go in waves in life and you, if you, like even the way the brain works, like you're a completely different person every five years, seven years. So it's not uncommon to change what you care about. I agree. You know, get your boobs redone and your personality you changes. Go. That's my five year <laughs> plan. Your boobs are real, by the way, right? Yeah. It's so insane. I mean, you're so blessed. Thanks. And by the way, you are, your body is ridiculous i have to ask you what do you do for your workout I, it's not a dating question but i just want to know <laughs> the women will want to know what do you do i really i love classes here in la because there's so many so i take pilates cycle spin yoga i have a personal trainer on occasion and yeah. i can go in the gym and kind of lift weights on my own so i do that so i kind of do all of the above I go to the gym and I just um, walk around and I hope hot guys will offer to help me lift the weights just to genius. meet guys. Yeah. I don't know if it's genius. Which gym? <laughs> it's genius. I don't think I want to say it on here. Oh my God. Yeah. It depends on the gym. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's happened to me a couple of times that I've actually met one, but it never lasts. Um, have you ever been stood up? No. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, look at me. Of course not. I truly haven't been on dates with strangers too. So it's like. Yeah, how do you meet guys for the most part? Man, um, I mean, there's a lot of DMing. Yeah. 
you know? You I do. like your Twitter DM because it's classier. Yeah, than Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Well, they can only DM you if you follow them on Twitter. Or if they're verified. Is that true? Yeah, I verified didn't know that. People. Well, you get that extra area. So it's like you would see, you know? Oh, if they or follow if you, you, you mean. see if they followed you. You see if they follow you. Yeah. But I don't think they can DM you, can you they? Be, I have no idea. Uh, I should test sure. it out. Yeah, we'll test it out. Or should we, we DM? Uh, I used to pick up guys on Twitter like this. I say used to. I still kind of do. <laughs> like if I'm watching TV or I'm watching a football game or anything and a hot guy comes on, I look him up. I see if he's single. Then I go follow him and then I just wait. I love doing that. Yeah, you do the same thing. Yeah, totally How embarrassing. Have you ever been watching a show and you were like, that guy's hot. I should follow him. And then you go look him up and you realize you already dated him? No. Oh, that's happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, tell me this one. Um, what is, have you ever had a really, really bad, horrible date? Like the worst date you can remember? No. Really? But I, I was just on um, another show and I told this funny like Netflix and chill story I had. Tell it. Um, I was in college dating this guy. I don't. I used to walk at LSU. You have to walk really far. Yeah. And um, I don't know if I was like chafed down there or like something was going on, but for some reason I used Vagisil during the day. Okay. Which is basically like it kind of like numbs your vagina. Yeah, I'm trying to you, think. What is that for? Isn't that for razor bumps or razor? Could burn be. Or could something? be for ear, like being irritated. Whatever. I also worked at Hooters, so I always had like stockings up my ass. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So um, for whatever reason, I put it on, forgot about it, and I went to like my boyfriend's house at the time, and we were watching TV, and he went down on me, and then he looks at me, he goes, Lindsay, why is my tongue numb? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. A hundred percent. That's amazing. And I had the, I was just like, it's a surprise. Do you like it? And yeah. I pretended I bought something at Spencer's, and it was like on purpose. Are you serious? So serious. That's amazing. He's like, I can't feel my face for the rest. Of I'm sure he didn't mind. He thought I was kinky. <laughs> That's hot. He was I like, love wow, it. she's a freak. Are you into any freak stuff? Like, like, what are you into? So much normal stuff. Really? <laughs> I think so. I, do you like to cuddle? Are you a cuddler? No. Really? I mean, no. I prefer to sleep. I have a dog, and he does that much better than any guy will ever do that. <laughs> You'd rather sleep with a dog. He's just the best at it. I have, mean, Have you lived with a guy? Yes, too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. did you, you didn't live with the last guy, did you? I did. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, Didn't shit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So this is a serious breakup. It's pretty serious. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. I'm oddly really t tough. You're about okay? It. Like, super okay. Good. It's just freaky. Do you block him on everything when you break up? Blocked him on everything, but we're kind of like communicating now because we're, I don't know, we're pretty cordial. That's good. But you never know when it goes from cordial to crazy. So I'm just kind of on my toes. Like I'm really nowhere in the middle. <laughs> I'm either like psycho, like a, like like I registered a guy's house as a public polling location. That's genius. I think I saw that on Twitter. Thank you. Yeah, I felt good about that one. Yeah. It's harder than you think, though, <laughs> 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 to jump through a lot of hoops. Oh um, I mean, what's your favorite thing? So you you don't date strangers, obviously. What's like your ideal date? Ooh, I always say I love like a live event. So like a concert. I'm actually a geek for theater. So if you could take me to a Broadway show, it might really? be expensive. But that's my favorite of all time. I think a live show is romantic. It's memorable. I love live shows yeah. too. So you would you date a guy who was super famous but super poor? Like what if he was super famous but had no money like Terrell Owens because he has like 40 kids and he mm. spent it all on child support. I don't know if that's true. And I'm friends with you. I shouldn't even say that. Well, yeah, super famous. I would never just do like super bad famous because super famous could be a murderer. Like, you know, I would rather them be like super positive famous. Oh, okay. Not you know? bad. Fa yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, obviously you don't want to, I don't want you to date a serial killer. Well, you know, like, so they could be like, you know, <laughs> Courtney Stodden and date like Doug Hutchinson and now she's got a platform but for what you know oh, so how about this I then? gotta be specific about the type all right that's fair you don't want to date a, someone who's super famous for like beating girls yeah up. no losers not like, Bill no Cosby losers at all yeah yeah no, no loser. loser zone but you dated this British guy who sounds like was a total <laughs> bad boy but he wasn't a loser He's but he got was a bad boy oh, yeah naughty bad boy but so you were turned on by the idea of of turning him into oh my god wait it wasn't that guy wait it's probably can, that guy can we say who it was? Yeah. Who was Callum it? Best? I was just going to say it wasn't Callum Best, yeah, was it? Yeah, Callum. That is hilarious. Yeah. I didn't know that you guys dated. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you know what? I remember seeing him. I don't know him at all. I remember seeing him on, he popped up in my Twitter feed. I was like, he's hot. And I followed him. And then I started realizing 
just from his tweets, I was like, oh, this guy seems like such a fuck boy. So you got him to commit, though. <laughs> yeah, we were dating. But I mean, he I, commit is one of those words. We're dating. We're in public. I was the girlfriend, but it was still like. I'm sure he was. Well, isn't he like a sex addict or something, though? I think he admitted? was. Alleg yeah, he might be. But like, who isn't? Yeah. What guy is I don't it? know. And I saw that relationship. I'm like, it was really fun. And I got a big fan base in the UK. And I had a lot of fun going out there. I didn't take it like crazy. I was never heartbroken over it. Yeah. I thought he was fun. He's like a whirlwind of a person. That's so interesting that you can date a guy exclusively and keep it fun and light. Because for me, it's either casual. Mm -hmm. But once it's exclusive, it's very hard for me to like be just like, oh, he's just for fun. Like if I'm with someone exclusively, I see some kind of I don't. I don't know if I want to get married, but I see yeah. some kind of future something. I, I did too. Like I thought eventually like we would go, you know, move in or do something like that. And the relationship did not turn there. And we actually, he did famously single while we were here. We pretended to get back together on the show. And um, at the end, he was like saying, you know, it was, it was all my fault. Like she's the kind of girl you marry. You know, she was right. Like I should have done more. Aww. And yeah, but he well, wasn't that's... He wasn't even like sad like he should have done it. Do you think he it, meant you know? it or do you think that was good TV? No, it would have been funnier if he was like, ah, fuck her. But he was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think he meant it. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I do remember seeing you in his some of his posts. Now, mm -hmm. like I forgot about that. Aw, yeah, yeah, I'm glad you got out of that. Me too. I don't know him, but I just know you can do better. You know what I mean? Oh my God, totally. Like I just know it was him. a fun experience, Mr. Yeah. Best. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. Um, what is a complete deal breaker for you? You see something and you're like, fuck no, absolutely not. Like just on a first boom. For sure, negging. Like a neg, I'm still obsessed that's with. It. I just cannot stand it. that. Yeah. Uh, but if you're rude to a waiter or someone, or you talk shit about a woman, or if you're just a shit talker, period, I'm not interested. It's just we will, no. I hate that too. I don't want to have to explain why I don't care about being ugly or insulting people. <laughs> Just oh, beneath me. Uh, is it okay to wear socks during sex? Why not? You might be a sociopath, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think socks during sex is a little like, I feel weird wearing socks. If that's all you have on, no clothes, just socks. I mean, I think if you wear socks to bed, you're a sociopath. Like that's been confirmed. Do you really, so is, you it, probably, is that true? Totally. That's been confirmed? I mean, By no. who? <laughs> me. Me and Twitter. <laughs> I was going to say, this is an Instagram and poll. And if, like, you if you like regular fries over curly fries, you're a sociopath. I would have to say you're right. Thank you. If they're side by side, who the fuck picks a boring a murderer? Yeah, yeah, Run. I agree. This is good. You could be like uh, Jeff Foxworthy of <laughs> you might be a sociopath. I you know what I mean? That. that could be your thing. Um, let's see. When's the last time you had sex? Well, I guess that would be your. I'm gonna say two weeks ago. With the guy? Wait, or with well, someone you're else? allowed to have ex sex. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, ex sex. And yeah. it was my idea. I was like, can't you do this? Like, don't people do that all the time? Yeah. <laughs> I hit up ex sex. How bad is it that the other night I was trying to get with my ex to hook up? And then um, he was like blowing me off. Like we kind of planned a hookup and he was kind of blowing me off. And then when he, by the time he finally texted me, I was like, fuck him, I'm over it. So I hit up a, a different guy, the guy I ended up <laughs> hooking up with. Uh -huh. And then we ended up hanging out and having sex. And I told the guy I had sex with, well, I ended up here because my ex blew me off. Like I actually told him he was like the second choice guy. So, you know, honesty is the best policy. <laughs> you know, I just feel like why, why lie? You yeah. know, that's not nagging. It's being honest. No, that's true. This guy also told me uh, after we had sex that he thought I would have a fatter back. Is that nagging? I would think that was a compliment. Thank no, you. No, wait, right. I'm not sure. <laughs> he said I thought your back would be chubbier. I was like, all right, this is over. I wouldn't know how to take that. Um, how important is good footwear? These are your fans' questions, by the way. I'm reading. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, yeah. I would, I don't, I would say I don't care, but I have no idea. I don't know men's shoes. I don't know men's cars either. I don't know, like, yeah. I don't know the types. But I know what looks clean or dirty. Yeah. So I think that that is where I stand. I would say good footwear is probably less important than just, like, not disgusting feet. Yeah. You know, like, good feet is probably more my thing. Yeah. Than, like, if you have some weird fungus or athlete's foot going on, that's, that's going to be a deal breaker for me. I might could tolerate it. Really? Yeah, men's feet are just a disaster a lot. <laughs> I feel like, you know, for all the other things they've got going, if the worst is your feet, 
you might have a chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. If the if you, Do you ever look at a guy, have you ever taken a guy that you feel like needs some work and tried to fix him up a little? One of my boyfriends, just so sweet, this guy I lived with in Louisiana, very serious boyfriend. Like for sure, the guy I would have married if I stayed there. Aww. And I was like, I can't, you know, I can't live and die here. So I left. But this guy had really long, kind of like frat boy hair. Yeah. In the South, they'll just grow it out and then put a baseball cap on it yeah and call it a style <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> and so when we were together i like begged i'm like you you know let's let's slick it back like a pirate because that's hot like super down you can leave it long but we're gonna slick it back like a pirate yeah okay. or <laughs> you're gonna cut it and like have a style and he kept saying he was like Lindsay, i was like this when you met me and i was like babe i knew i could change that <laughs> yeah right exactly <laughs> his I'm, hair is cut now i think that that's that's Actually, that's an interesting question because I always feel guilty to do it. But like, will you straight up tell a guy then like you look better like this, do this if you are with him? I think any real friend would be comfortable saying something that your friend has got to know. Like if there's a booger in their nose, if they, True. you know, I don't know about the weight thing. That's always really tough to tell someone they're like out of shape. Yeah. But as fuck, if you need a haircut, yeah, that is a, that's me doing my girlfriend duty. Yeah, I, I straight up told a guy who has a really, who has a beard that I saw him one day with, he shaved his beard and he just had like stubble and he was so much hotter Ew. and I'm kind of into him and then he grew the beard back and then he asked me <laughs> out and I said, you know, I thought you were hotter without your beard. I just told him because, That's not a... I, are you into big beards? I've dated people with oh, beards, wait, so you... I'm totally down. Yeah. But I don't really have a preference or care. Like a lot of beard, like a big, like a huge beard. I'm open. You're open to that. Yeah. I just feel like there's going to be food in it. You don't? There might be. All right. I can't <laughs> help it. You're very chill. You don't have a... All right. What are your... You don't have a lot of expectations. It doesn't God, seem... God, isn't that sad? No, it's great. It seems like you're very open to almost any type as it's long true. as he's someone that's going to be a good partner for you mm -hmm. career-wise. So super. And I think there's so much for me, like what I care about is really... It really is your attitude. It's your vibe. It's... It's things that you can't usually see. So I and I have a track record of dating people that are all weird and different. Chemistry. You want chemistry. Totally. You want like that feeling in your in the like your belly, like totally. the fire feeling. Well they say they say that we look for people who are like us, like unconsciously. I read a book about like how your mind works with who you want to date. And we like people with very petty shit, like last names that are similar to ours. Obviously, huh. facial structures, but if you look really hard at couples, you'll notice they have similar teeth shapes like you you can really go deep and look at you know people wow. always look like their brother and sister there's a reason for that we're we're attached to that i had a boyfriend of a year we had the same birthday and i think that it was something so stupid like that and it's why i chose to be with him that's fascinating i'll have to look at that because i yeah. tend to be attracted to like um like i'm not attracted at all to blondes uh -huh. i can't like you could be any guy if you're blonde it just doesn't do it for me yeah I'm always attracted to like dark guys with like tattoos and mm -hmm. like there but I wonder what there probably is something there's gotta be there's probably something. it's interesting to look for the similarities that is interesting for me it's a lot of the attitude I date if you ask me it sounds super geeky but I like the king of the jungle I like that guy who like the alpha. friends are in charge like he's the leader all the friends look to him for the answer they look for him to what we're doing this weekend like and I've dated that guy repeatedly don't you think that's because you're an alpha chick Probably. Yeah, because I know I'm like very alpha. So I need guys that are super alpha to make me feel yeah. like you're the man. Because yeah. a lot of guys, I am I feel like I have like more balls than the guy. Yeah. And you're probably the same. Totally. Yeah, because you can't be, you can't get to where you are if you can't play with the boys. Yeah. You know, you just can't. In this world, I mean, you're a businesswoman. It's obvious. Your stuff is smart. I'm not just saying that, you know, to be nice, but... It's really true. I wouldn't I wouldn't tell you. And I wouldn't even have you. I wouldn't have even hit you up to come on if I was like, if I thought you weren't, if I thought you didn't have things to say. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, do you want to get married? To you? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> yes. Have, we, do you okay. ever, have you ever been with a girl? No. Well, oh yeah, one time. Like not as Like a, a threesome? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like once. One time yeah. only? Was it with a boyfriend or was Dan it? Dan Days. Oh, Dan One Days? Half, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Dude, that guy must have more orgies. I mean, that guy. For I just, sure. But what's interesting is, I mean, when were you with him? Like three years ago. So I don't know what year. 2016, oh, wow. maybe? So I might have met or him back then. the year after. I feel like I met him 2017 party. I don't know. I know. I don't think you guys were together when I met him. I'm positive. You mm -hmm. would have been with him at that party. 
But oh, I think we were like, when you're with him, it's loose. It's very much he's still doing anything he wants. But you're like the his like main chick. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah that so, makes sense. Yeah, we kind of almost has to be that way with like what he's yeah. decided to build. But it was it was funny because at that party, I mean, obviously, like chicks are. I mean, they're just swamped in pussy. Just, he really is. You know, and everyone asks me, they're like, is that for real? It's so for real. Yeah. It's so for real. It is. But then at the same time, he seemed almost, at least that night, he seemed almost like, eh, unaffected because he's probably just so used to it that yeah. once he came in and was sitting down, he just kind of was, I don't know, not the, the least impressed guy you've ever seen with a bunch of super hot chicks yep. around, you know? So it was, it was funny, but I mean, you, uh, what do you want? This is not a dating question. I feel like I've, I'll, I'll give you one or two more, but what do you want? Like, what's your career goal? Oh my gosh, I want to have a career. I want to be an internationally known glamour girl and spokesperson. So I want to be like a Chrissy Teigen or like a Carmen Electra, Jenny, Jenny McCarthy. Oh, hell yeah. I like women with a lot of spunk, even like Kelly Ripa and Chelsea Handler. I love Jenny McCarthy. And my, I feel like my goal in life is to help people get along, but through being funny and through being like positive yeah but really funny yeah so i just i hope that there is a way to kind of blend all of that together you're doing it you started a podcast that's yeah. a good you'll probably end up with a tv show i feel like do you Super act nice. it says you're an actress on your wikipedia do i you technically like to... have my sad card <laughs> yeah i do too i do too so <laughs> i've do done you... some stuff if they give me a job i went through a phase where i'm like sure i'll take this acting seriously had a coach went to castings such a waste of time right such a uh just like a a waste of time it's, totally it's almost agree. like i feel like it's such a, a show it's like a tsa the way they check your bags and shit it's a show it's not effective they're not looking for new talent i feel like you know who you know before you go in there everything is changing anyway oh, now yeah with it's like, such a with waste you it, now everything is different with social media with the internet with there's a billion networks there's tv there's who yeah there's net, it's everything i'm so. almost like bitter thinking about when i would like work hard to learn these lines go in there nervous <laughs> as shit and then like they already knew who they were casting yeah like, when, that's so disrespectful yeah you when you stop it. caring i feel is really when when i started booking any <laughs> acting work is the day i stopped caring yeah like i mean the day i was really like i, I don't care about acting anymore for me it's because i started doing comedy mm -hmm. and i was like oh that's gonna be my thing but i mean it's it's true it's like that's why I never, people are like, why don't you go on commercial auditions? I'm like, I don't want to drive all over town, audition for yeah. commercials. I would rather just make money on doing what I'm doing. This yeah. is, you can build your own, whatever. People should just build their own shit. Fuck yep. commercials. Fuck commercials, I say, as I'm, now, let me read my ad. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. The last thing I'm going to ask you, I'm looking for a really good one. Oh, Ew. this is, you did tell kind of a funny sex story. Oh, shit. Um, have you ever dated a chubby guy? Yeah. Out of shape? Yeah. Do you care? No. What's your favorite sex position? Like the normal kind. What is the normal? <laughs> he can What's be on top. Kind? Him on top? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even know what that's called. I don't know the names, really. People are Missionary. like. Yeah. Um, okay. Last one is, uh, what is, I mean, do people often get intimidated? Do you ever, have you ever gone out with someone you can just tell they're completely intimidated or... I mean, once you get out on the date, does it happen after you're there? They're all the same. Anyone who's going to be intimidated is going to treat you instead of like in a nice way, they're going to be mean. You know what I mean? Every guy who's ever been intimidated acts like a dick. So that's to show that they're not, you know, yeah. I see right through that. That's what I can't stand. I was at um, Doheny room recently for like a night out. These guys, I see them talking about me clear as day, like in the corner, there's three of them. And they talk for a minute and they come up to me and one of the guys goes, hey, um, hey, ma'am, could you take a picture of us? That was his plan to make of him think them? that he didn't know who I was. Oh. I was like, I was, and I'm not trying to be an ass, but it's really clear like they knew who I was. Right. So he was like, could you take a picture of us? And I said, no. And, he, you know, <laughs> so he turned around, went about his life and he came back and he goes, hey, Lindsay, would you take a picture with me? And I was like, I sure will. Good. You I'm little glad, shit. I'm <laughs> glad he came back. And then did you say anything? Did you Yeah, ask then him? we were totally flirting. He was super nice. And he was actually a really cute guy. But that was his fucking plan. Why would you? That, so that's nagging. It's nagging. They were trying it's to act so like they didn't stupid. want you in the photo. Yeah. Do you, uh, does it ever work that a guy comes up to you at a bar and hits on you and you actually end up going out with him? Sometimes. Yeah, really? it definitely happened. I remember a real clever one. I was in college and a guy came up to me and he goes, hey, um, he looked at me like straight in my eye and he was like, you're really beautiful. I'm going to get your number by the end of the night and just walked away. And he was really 
he meant it. Like he looked in my eyeballs and meant it and was not no fear. And he came back and I was like, oh, here you go. You know what? I literally on the last episode said the hottest thing a guy can do is come up, just give you a compliment. Like you're beautiful, man. I would love to get to know you sometime. I don't want to interrupt. Have a good time and walk away. Yeah, I it's always genius. say that if they walk away, you're like, oh, shit, he didn't linger. And you have to think about him. Yeah. And then they stick around and then if they come back by, worst thing can happen if a guy does that, guys, is you come back by and we're like, oh, you know what? I actually have a boyfriend or whatever our yeah. thing is. But that's your best shot. It is a I genius promise. shot, actually. It is, right? Uh -huh. The other thing that worked on me once is a guy at Coffee Bean in line behind me was like, hey, I'm going to get her coffee. And he got it, right? And then... I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. And I kept kind of waiting for him to ask for my number, ask for my info, ask anything. And he didn't. Smart. We talked for a little bit. I was like, what do you do? And he kind of told me. And I was, he was like a musician. I was like, oh, that's so cool. He's like, oh yeah, check out my music sometime. This is my band, whatever. He told me all about what he does. And then he left. And then it was like on me actually. And I ended up like being like, Huh, he was kind of hot. He didn't even try. That was so weird. Why do you buy my coffee and not try? So I ended up looking for him following him Aww. and DMing him to thank him. And it turned out like, it turned out that guy actually had a girl and was just a nice guy. Yeah. He really was like, oh, that's like actually really forward. nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm depressing he had a girlfriend. I know, but it's okay. Now that I think about it, my ex did something like that. He, we were at a dinner. He knew the people at the table and he was, he seemed impolite to me. He seemed like he like was rude, like didn't want to be too nice or like, uh, you know, be nice about yeah. it or tell me something complimentary. But um, when we left, they said, oh, that guy paid for your whole tab and he had paid for like my whole girl's brunch. And I was Ooh. like, wow, you're a scammer. That's a good move. Because I have to say thank you. It was quite a bill. Yeah. And you seemed like an ass, but you bought my dinner. Ooh, if they pay for the whole table. The whole thing. That's, that's big. That's really nice. Yeah. And the worst thing that. is if they show up and they only pay for. I had yeah, a guy and he show didn't up. say anything. He didn't. He just he did just it. He just did it. Yep. And left? Uh-huh. Yeah, he didn't say anything. you knew who he was so you could find him? Yeah, we him. have mutual friends. That's amazing. See, doing it and leaving. I'm telling you, the leaving, because mm -hmm. we're not used to guys just leaving. No. So when you leave, we're like, wait a minute. Why? Why? Yeah. Your yeah. brain is automatically like, how fast can we get him away? So if he gets away <laughs> himself, we're like, what? Yeah, like yeah. a fembot. With like your head we're is like, like, wow, shaking. he's so confident. He didn't <laughs> hit on me. He didn't stick around. That's the best advice, guys. <laughs> leave. Get the fuck out. And come back. Pay the bill and leave. Um, you are a pleasure. Uh, I wish we had more time because you're so interesting, but I don't want to take up any more <laughs> of your day because I feel like you have a lot going on. Um, is there anything else you want to plug besides your like, listen to her podcast? Yeah. Eyes up here. Follow her, of course, at Lindsay Pelas. Yes. Now I have it down. Yeah. I'm just online doing shit. Doing your thing. Podcasting. I'm selling a new tee. It's super hot. Oh, yeah. Your t-shirt's cool. It says yeah. genetically gifted and yes. your top was. It's super duper hot. Yeah. A little graphic tee. Yeah. And uh, are you in town for the summer? Do you do personal appearances and stuff like that? I do. I like host clubs and stuff, but yeah. um, I don't know what's going to go on. I feel like it's going to get busy. It's going to get busy. Yeah. Bikini season's coming. Yeah. Like Vegas. I'm sure you do Vegas pools and stuff all the time. I probably. mean, when I have to, when I get paid to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. No one's doing <laughs> it for free. It's exhausting to no do one's for doing free. That for free. No. Well, you're amazing guys um make sure you follow her thank you so much for coming thank on you. i love you i feel like uh i feel like i'm gonna just start sending you guys that are out of my league and be like but he'd be good for you and just oh my God, send him your way okay perfect <laughs> all right guys i love you um obviously this is coming out monday so uh wednesday and thursday night i'm at off the hook comedy club in naples florida and then friday and saturday at boca black box in boca raton i got jack jr coming with me and uh, I can't wait. So you guys, please come email me at kateqtix, T-I-X, at gmail.com. If you want me to hook you up, I'll hook up uh, Date Bells listeners with two tickets to any show you want. So thank you guys. And uh, make sure that you check out my Patreon, patreon.com backslash kateqfunny. Love you guys. Thank you, Lindsay. Bye, guys. You. Bye. Oh, you're amazing.